High Fire Energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising with those cross watching. Welcome to your tarot messages here. Today we're going to take a look at urgent messages that your spirit guides are wanting to tell you. So, what is it that they've been trying to communicate to you? What is it that they've been trying to guide you towards? Because this is a general reading, these are going to be general messages, so keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, so we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what your spirit guides are trying to communicate here. Okay, you've got the magician here, the tower. Strength and the Knight of Swords here, Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords here, okay, the Ten of Swords here, okay, and the Six of Swords, all right, um, Spirit definitely wants you to stop blaming yourself for something here, okay, um, Spirit wants you to sort of make peace with the conflict here that's happening with you, especially emotionally or internally here. Some of you have been going through something over and over again in your head. Um, you're either replaying what you've said, your actions, or this person's actions here. This is only hurting you. It's only doing um, damage to your health, your mental health, your physical health. So Spirit wants you to let go of something here, okay? There's been an ending here. So Spirit definitely wants you to release someone's energy here, release the past hurt or past resentment. Um, someone who has hurt you, betrayed you or stabbed you in the back here, especially with the Ten of Swords energy, because it's something you didn't necessarily foresee or predict that this person would ever do or, you know, would ever be capable of doing to you here. Um, holding on to that anger, that resentment, that hurt or that betrayal, Spirit doesn't want you to deny you to deny yourself the emotions, the hurt, you know, the rejection, the pain or the betrayal behind it. But spirit doesn't want you to hold on to it either because it's only damaging and it's only poisoning yourself, okay? There's a need for you to not only forgive someone else here, but more importantly, forgive yourself for not knowing things and just forgive yourself and allow yourself to move on because that's what's really going to help you to move forward here. Spirit wants you to know that with the magician here, there's a lot of changes that are manifesting for you. There's a lot of big things that are happening for you, big, exciting changes. Some of these are going to be very sudden. Some of these are going to be very, um, we're going to be very swift here. There's a lot of people that are going to be entering as well as exiting your life here. And Spirit wants you to be okay with both. Some people come into your life to stay. Others come in for a brief period and, you know, and walk. Okay, they take an exit from your life. And Spirit wants you to know that it's okay to let them go. Because don't allow them to overstay their welcome here. Okay, but the magician here is... Um, all about, you know, the positivity and all the manifestations that you're inviting into your life. And Spirit also wants you to, to remind you that essentially you are the creator of your life, okay? Your thoughts, thoughts become things. So watch your thoughts because they are essentially manifesting your reality. So Spirit just wanted you to, rem to remind you of that. You have the Tower card here. And Spirit wants to remind you that not all storms come to disrupt your path. A lot of the times, a lot of the times, storms come to clear your path, okay? So there are some people who no longer play a role in your life, okay? They're, the role that they're meant to play here, you know, their, their time is up here. They've done all they could do for you. There's no more benefits to that relationship, to that romance, to that connection, to that friendship. It's expired. It's outlived here. It's outdated. So Spirit wants you to get rid... Spirit... This is Spirit ways... This is Spirit's way of trying to clear and declutter your life, okay? So any people who take an exit, okay? Any people who exit your life right now, especially the, around this time of the reading, allow them to walk, okay? In fact, do one better and show them the door because you shouldn't have to convince certain people to stay in your life, okay? Um, and again, these people are only leaving your, um, leaving your life because they've played their part, Spirit wants you not to shrink yourself in order to try and fit into someone's 
point of view or try and fit into a relationship that unfortunately you guys have outgrew okay so spirit wants you to know that this storm that you're going through it's not to disrupt you it's not to throw your world into chaos it's not all for nothing it's to clear your path guys spirit wants you to know that you have that strength so if you are going through a storm whatever that storm may be here for you in a storm out of storm you know um however rough the stormy weather may be, Spirit wants you to know that you have the strength, okay, to endure. And maybe this is what it's all about, okay? Spirit wants to bring out that inner strength, that resilience that you do possess, but you are hiding within here. Spirit wants you to think before you leap here. Some of you have this really charged up or pent up energy. If you act in haste, okay, there's someone here that you're wanting to communicate or you just want to I feel like there may be a bit of brooding energy or hurt energy or you just want to, you know, ha let this person have it. Spirit wants you to think before you speak so you don't end up regretting your words or your actions here. So this pent up, this charged up energy, see if you can channel it productively, constructively elsewhere. Like, for example, hitting the gym or any creative outlet. Because essentially, yes, you could be hurting someone else with these words, but Spirit wants you to know that you're also hurting yourself here. Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords here. Spirit wants you to know that a lot of you are sort of undecided about something or someone, right? Um, it's okay to be, you know, it's okay to not have clarity all of the time, okay? It's only normal and it's okay to be unsure or uncertain about your feelings, your thoughts or your actions towards something or someone. Um, spirit is telling you maybe you need a little bit more time to sort of gather your thoughts, collect, you know, your emotions. See, think on things, okay? Sleep on it. There's a reason why we say sleep on it, okay? You need a little bit of more time here um, to process your thoughts and process your emotions here. Um, spirit is also telling you that you are you are holding on. There are certain behavioral patterns, guys, or holding patterns that you are holding on to. And those patterns are what's keeping you in this loop, okay? Those patterns of yours are what's keeping this relationship or what's keeping you going around in circles and chasing your tail here, okay? Break those patterns and you will break the mold here. So Spirit wants you to know that those patterns of yours... They're not benefiting you. They're only hindering you. Break the pattern, you'll break the mold. Two of Swords here, again, um, Spirit is trying to block certain people um, from entering your life. Or is trying to, you know, filter certain people from entering your life. So once again, anyone taking an exit or anyone on it who is not entering into your life, that's for a reason. Spirit is only looking out for you. Also, with the Two of Swords energy here. Spirit wants you to know that it's okay to let your guard down here. It's absolutely okay to be emotionally vulnerable, to to hurt, to cry here. It's not a sign of weakness here. And it's more than okay to forgive your enemy here. Again, it's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. Ten of Swords here. Okay, Spirit understands that there's been some sort of finality here. Okay, there's been an ending to a relationship, a situation um, you know, some sort of chapter or something very significant to you in your life. And spirit understands that this is, hurt, you know, this has hurt you here. Spirit gets that some of you have hit rock bottom. Okay, some of you have hit emotional rock bottom. Again, that's okay. Spirit wants you to acknowledge those, that pain, the emotion, the hurt behind this feeling. Spirit wants you to, spirit wants to acknowledge that. Okay, you know, you, you've, you've been going through a storm. Some of you are about to enter this storm. Some of you are going through this storm. Some of you are coming out of it. But spirit wants you to know that this is temporary, okay? You're not going to stay there. The storm is not going to last forever. It's not going to rain and thunder and, you know, um, it's not going to be this chaotic, this frantic forever. This is going to pass. But essentially, what the storm that you're going through, again, it's to clear your life. It's doing some decluttering. It's clearing your path here. The clouds will lift here, okay? So... However, these clouds are for you, like the clouds of doom will lift here, the dark clouds that have gathered around your life, around your relationship, they're going to lift. And look, the sun is going to break through. So this pain that you're feeling here, spirit promises you that it's going to go away. OK, it's, it's, you're going to heal from it. Eventually, you'll be able to think of this person or think back on this time and not have these very strong emotions associated with this time. So spirit wants you to acknowledge that, you know, you are where you are. Or that you're hurt. Spirit wants you to feel the emotions, feel it to heal it. But they also, but spirit also wants you to understand that there'll have to be a time where you're going to have to pick yourself up from rock bottom. Because spirit is telling you that once you hit rock bottom, the only way up, the only way out is up. 
Okay, Six of Swords here. Spirit is telling you that, look, it's only a matter of time before you're going to hop in that boat and you're going to sail away from these troubled waters, these troubled seas. So this storm is coming to a pass. In fact, look what's ahead. Smooth, calm sailing seas. So there you go. Spirit is not lying here. It's promising you that the storm here is going to, you're going to leave the storm behind. You're going to leave certain situation and certain people behind. But you have to understand that those people are not going with you on your journey. Okay. They cannot, they can only go as far as they've come. They are not going with you to the next phase of your journey. So spirit is telling you that the storm is going to pass and that certain people you are going to have to leave behind, but you have to be okay with leaving them behind purely because those people are not going where you're going. And if you're going to choose to stay with them, then you're going to choose stagnation. You're going to choose to stay stuck in a past, okay? You're going to choose um, being stuck here. So it's important for you to be able to accept that some people can only go as far as they've gone and they're not go they're not going to join you on the phase on the next phase of your journey and if you choose to stay with them you choose to stay living in the past guys if that spirit wants you to know that you know that's a very powerful message the spirit wants you to be aware of your journey here and what lies ahead for you a beautiful calm sailing um train very translucent very serene waters here all right guys these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages guys so stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now